Hey Wargamers, it's time for another Patron Army List review. Each week I take Army Lists submitted by my Patrons on Patreon, review them, revise them, and give my general impressions on how I think they would work in 8th edition 40k. Now if you want to do this, uh, all you have to do is go on over to my Patreon page, uh, join my patronage uh, at you know $1 a month is a minimum, do that, and uh, you can start sending your army list to me, and I will give you feedback uh, via this medium as well. So, yeah, this week we have a army list focused on Cold Star Battle Suits and the Taunar Supremacy Armor. Uh, it's comprised of two different detachments of the Supreme Command Detachment and a Patrol Detachment. And uh, if you're curious, you can see both this list and the revised list in the description below. Uh, as well as a link to the Patreon page if, if you haven't been there already. So, um, yeah, so it's comprised of a Supreme, a Supreme Command Detachment with three Cold Star Battle Suits. They're identical. Um, each of them have a advanced targeting system, a shield generator, and two shield drones. Uh, the Supreme Command Detachment also includes one unit of... Uh, technical drones, a pair of technical drones, and then the Taunar Supremacy Armor is equipped with the Tri-Axis Ion Cannon um, and the Pulse Ordnance Multi-Driver. Uh, yeah, so that's the Command Detachment, and then the Patrol Detachment has a Fire Blade, um, two units of Fire Warriors, minimal units, five-man units of Fire Warriors, each with a Guardian Drone, uh, and then two units of two technical drone each and then a unit of pathfinders with three pathfinders with marker lights a chazui with marker light and then an ion rifle so overall i think this is a fairly you know solid list there's some points with it that i you know have some tweaking to do but i think if you put this on the tabletop it would do relatively well just as is um, the main weaknesses are that the commanders are going to be um, up there by themselves. You're not going to be able to protect them with anything. Uh, they do have the shield generators to help them out with that, but overall they're going to be, you know, taken down systematically. So um, you have to deal with that. The Pathfinder team, the, the lone ion rifle seems kind of weird. And in general, the patrol detachment doesn't really seem to do a whole lot except for offer other opportunities for technical drones. Um, you have 10 fire warriors and a fire blade. The fire blade, um, you know, he's a good marker light source in this scenario, but he's really not uh, pulling his weight in terms of the volley fire ability. Just with 10 fire warriors, you're not really, you're not getting any more output from that than you would just buying more fire warriors with the points that you spend on the fire blade. Uh, so he's not really doing a whole lot there. And um, one thing I do like is the multiple small units of technical drones. Technical drones work in a way that it doesn't really matter how many you have in a unit, so long as you have a unit next to a battle suit, they can restore wounds to it. And so you want to have many multiple small units. Granted, that does leave you open to uh, sniping and um, kill point scenarios, so um, the technical drones there are you know, good and bad, right? You get the benefit of having multiple chances to restore wounds, but you also have a lot of units that are more easily taken out. So uh, the key with that is to have them hidden, have, in, have them be out of line of sight for enemy shooting and just use them when you need to by kind of parking your battle suits next to them, um, but still um, having the drones out of line of sight. So yeah. Uh, overall, I, th like, I think it's a fairly good list. Um, those are the main concerns I have, is just the inefficiency in the patrol detachment really is, is the biggest issue, and then not having any blocking for the commanders. So let's take a look at my revised list. Again, that's in the description below if you want to follow along, and I'll kind of walk you through why I changed what I changed. All right, for the revised list, I basically... Um, recognize that the core essence of this list is based on having those commanders and the town art and so I kept those but then I tweaked everything around it trying to build a more cohesive supporting structure for that uh, for that list for that core list and to do that I kept the supreme command attachment because that has all your 
your core elements that I just mentioned in it, but I scrapped the patrol detachment and instead substituted a fire detachment, an air wing detachment. So let's start with the Supreme Command detachment, talk about the things I tweaked in that, and then we'll get to the, the other detachment. So I maintained having three Cold Star battle suits. However, I changed their loadouts in a way that I think makes them jive a little bit better with the rest of the list that I've created. Um, so two of the Cold Star commanders have advanced targeting systems and shield generators. A third one has advanced targeting systems and a drone controller. And then two of those three have marker light drones instead of shield drones. There are no more shield drones uh, associated with these commanders. Now the reason why I did that is because I dropped the patrol detachment so I don't have marker light support from Pathfinders and so I want to sprinkle in some marker light drones uh, throughout the army in order to actually give you that that um, opportunity to have the reroll ones. That's really all you're going to be able to get out of this guy, um, out of this list. You might be able to get a, a little bit more out of that but we don't have a reliable you know, marker light source for getting into the higher market light tiers, and honestly, we didn't have that with the original list either. Really, we're just looking for re-rolling ones on the commanders and on the town are, and we can do that with just a few marker light drones. So, that's, uh, that's that. Um, the elites, I kept the technical drones. However, because I've dropped the patrol detachment, I don't have access to multiple elite slots anymore. So, I boosted the technical drone unit up to four technical drones instead of down instead of just two. Now I just said that having multiple small units of technical drones is better and I think that that's probably true but given the constraints of the list as a whole I think this is a cost-benefit scenario where it cost it more to have multiple units than it was worth. So we went with one slightly larger unit of technical drones. It's going to give it more durability. You're going to be able to use savory protocols on this unit and not worry about it just completely evaporating and um, you're still going to get you know between one and three wounds back on your town arm each turn which you know is still good so there's that uh, and then the the town arm stayed exactly the same I like this loadout uh, as a reminder always use just the standard uh, the standard shooting abilities on the uh, triaxis cannon just because the focused um, the, the alternative firing doesn't really get you anything. So if you haven't seen my Town Now review, go ahead, uh, you know, I'll put that in the link description as well. That gives you an idea of, of how I think that guy should be used. So that's the Supreme, Conta Supreme Command Detachment. Uh, it's fairly similar. I kept those Cold Stars. I tweaked them a little bit, made them a little bit more offensive, stripped them down, repurposed the drones to be marker light drones, and uh, move forward. Now the big change that I made here was with the air wing detachment instead of the patrol detachment. And the reason why I did this is because those Cold Star commanders are going to be just out and waving in the wind, right? They're going to be vulnerable. Um, and the way that we can avoid that is if we have an escort with them. The drones that came with the list originally aren't able to do that. They're not fast enough. But you know what is fast enough? Remoras. Remoras are fast enough to be a good escort for Cold Star commanders. And so that's what I've done here. I've taken an air wing detachment with three remoras. Each one of those remoras is a separate unit. Granted, they don't have savior protocols, but uh, they will benefit from the drone controller, hence the reason why I gave one of those Cold Star commanders a drone controller. So the way I imagine this working is having um, the three remoras and the three Cold Stars move up as a unit. You have the remoras basically surrounding the commanders and then centrally within those remoras and within those commanders you have the one with the drone controller and uh, everybody's happy. That makes the remoras much more effective and uh, protects your cold stars from enemy shooting which is really nice. Um, you still have a fair amount of strength 5 shooting. In fact I think I didn't look at this before but um, yeah you should have more strength 5 shooting now. Um, one of these remoras also has a seeker missile just because I had a few extra points. Threw that in there. Seeker missiles, um, yeah, I like them. So, <laughs> so it worked, worked out. But now the general idea is that 
you have this advancing unit, you have this aggressive unit that's able to grab objectives, um, capture, you know, capture ground, hold the board, offer some uh, backfield pressure while your towner just, you know, pew pew, shoots off uh, in the back. You have, um, you have access to uh, a few drones to do savior protocols for the town are you still have the technical drones to restore wounds so you're still maintaining that durability there he's not going to just be taken out in one shot or in one you know volley round just because uh, somebody rolled a couple sixes on their damage chart so it should be fine um, I think I think this works out really well it gives you more aggressive options it gives you more versatility that cold star remora unit can all break out each cold star can go out with their, their own remora and um, be protected that way. And of course, you know, all that strength five shooting going into a single unit is gonna be really powerful, but also uh, you have the missile pods on the cold stars and those can go to a different target if you want. So overall, this is how I think the list could be improved. Uh, there are minor tweaks, but um, I think the remoras really offer a lot in this particular scenario. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like these changes, if you hate them, I'd love to hear why. But otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and happy wargaming.